Hey guys, this is Heel Sile and this is my first video on YouTube. So kindly share some love and support and by the end of the video, please let me know if you liked it or not. In this video, I'll be telling you how to use your characters in the most efficient way and how to get maximum reward points out of these arena battles and what are the different combinations that you must try for your team in order to earn maximum reward points. My first strategy that I always play with and the one that I even want you guys to try is play with a Justice League team or try and collect Justice League characters if you don't have those characters. The reason behind me specifically telling you people to go for a Justice League team is because there is a supernatural character out there if you guys didn't know until now named Justice League Cyborg. Now basically what Cyborg does is he gives huge damage boost to all the Justice League characters and he's also immune to stun guys and now that's amazing. His special 2 drains 2 bars of power and it will also go much higher as you level him up. So without wasting much time let's go straight to the arena. Now after watching this fight some might say that you don't need skills for this you just need to tap on the screen and there is no way they will win but to be honest when you play these kind of matches there are risks that you might even lose and you can see it clearly when I play in the next few minutes. In these kind of matches guys health is the factor cause obviously your opponent is way much stronger than you and I'm gonna show you what you are exactly mean. Okay, so let's have a look how tough these guys are. Mm, okay, so the first thing that you guys should check here is the health of these characters. To be on a safe side, make sure that it is not above 25k and second, make sure that not more than 2 players should have health more than 20k. Anything below 20k is good, is perfect. And basically the reason behind this is that in your team Cyborg provides additional damage to all your teammates so make sure that your opposing players have like approx 20k or anything below 20k is awesome. You guys can easily defeat these players and earn maximum reward points and the reason I'm telling that their health should be as minimum as possible is that if you just notice that these guys have tremendous attack as you can see here in these figures mm, like these now trust me they can do heavy damage to your players in just seconds so the trick here is that select players in your opposition team in such a way that they can defeat these guys in minimum time before all your players get knocked out. And that's it people, now it's time to show some skills. In some cases I don't even need my specials because even my special attacks will be less damage than the combos of my character. Okay, so one last and super duper important tip I want to tell you guys before starting the next match is that you should never ever go for Atlantean, Aquaman, Armored Supergirl, Justice League teams, both the legendary characters at least for these kind of matches. 
just avoid these players because if these players are near your position team then defeating them is like next to impossible so just avoid these kind of unnecessary risks Hmm, nice try. How about this? <sighs> to be honest, I was just wondering like what was going on in the creator's mind to come up with passives like this for Cyborg. They've just made this character insane. In these kind of matches, I don't even have to block because I have Batman in my team and he provides me with a shield for the opponent's first ability. So I can play fearlessly and I just have to do, uh, you know, this, this, this and it's Hustle Vista baby. So as you can see guys if you wish to earn a lot of reward points as compared to the amount of reward points you earned before then playing with Justice League team is my number one strategy that I want you guys to follow. Um, look this multiverse team is my second best team and um, no I'm not gonna play with this team. I'm just showing like whenever I play with this team. Oh, uh, this. This is the level of difficulty I prefer because seriously, like, what's the use of playing these kind of matches? Uh, like, first, it offers me less points and second, what's the fun in playing when you know this match will hardly last for 30 seconds and I know I'm gonna win. Okay guys, uh, playing Justice League team was my fourth strategy in getting maximum reward points. Now for those who don't have Justice League characters or like who are just new to this game or like it's just been few months since you've started. For those, I've got two ways which might help you in getting slightly higher rewards as compared to the previous time. What you can do is put in essentially your three best characters and now if you wish to earn some more reward points out of this team then what you can do is upgrade the abilities of each and every player to as much as possible especially the third special attack guys i repeat the third special attack now if you want to invest all your gold credits in increasing these abilities i would just say like just do it and you're done with this The second alternative to earn more reward points using the same characters that you've been using before and the one which I prefer while playing is that try to put two strong characters and one weak character and it will 
surely give you better return on points um, now look guys again here some might oppose this but I have my reasons too now look to be honest it's hardly been I guess some one month or so that I unlocked characters like uh, Justice League Cyborg and Justice League Batman earlier even I used to play normal matches the only strong character I had was my Justice League Flash and that too from the very beginning. So earlier even I was frustrated and even I wanted to earn some more reward points. So I just tried trying out different ways you know uh, in which I can earn some more reward points. So after all this trying stuff I came to the conclusion that playing two strong and one weak character just helped me on more reward points during that time I used to play Justice League Flash and Captain Cold and any of the one week character let's say Aquaman or um, Catwoman Flash and Cyborg were my top two best players at that time Okay, so let's play a match to prove my point and to show that this technique still works. Let's set the difficulty. Mm, I guess this would be fine. Whoa, easy boy. Wait, what? I pressed the button for like six or seven times. <laughs> what is wrong with this game? I guess I'm gonna lose because my flash is almost dead and my Catwoman is also not that strong enough. But still, Catwoman, let's see what you got. Wait, what? What is happening? She was my only hope. What? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Did I just win? <laughs> that was so close. Okay, so if you guys think my flash is way too overpowered, then I can even try a different combo, just that I don't leave any doubt in your mind. Okay, so see your flash and Captain Cole. Let's try a different combo. Let's choose Raiden and Green Lantern. And let's take Aquaman. Oops. <laughs>
Whoa, that's good. And he goes, bye bye. So that's it. I hope this video helped you guys. And since this is my first video, I tried my best to express myself. And if you guys are still left with any doubts or have any questions, you can write it in the comment section below and let me know how can I make this video better for you guys. And most importantly, if you guys liked my video, please do like and subscribe to my channel for more and I'll be surely coming up with new content every week. And that's it. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot for watching this video.